Welcome to Battle Truth, in my point of view. I don't know you, so I'm not a hater. I can only give you the fact that's written on these papers. And since we have no dealings, therefore the court can care less about your feelings. I'm the Honorable Malachi Markili, your presiding judge, chairman, and spokesperson for the One United Front. You are my witnesses and jury. You may be seated. Court is now in session. Let's talk about it. Okay, man. So we know Beasley have been on record and known to been helping brothers out with a rent, helping fellow battle rappers out, getting out of jail, helping paying on some of their lawyer fees, helping um helping them with their rent, helping them with like car notes, you know. So, Norbs did an interview where he was talking about us who went on a strike, and he was just saying how selfish they was to do Beasley like that, knowing that Beasley be looking out for a lot of them when they in financial trouble and need. Well, this case came up by Gabby from Brooklyn. Shouts out to Gabby from Brooklyn, my man. Gabby like, man, he shouldn't be getting no praise and no honor for no stuff like that. Why? Why should they be praising you and honoring you and holding you up in high regards for looking out for these brothers when they're in financial trouble when you know that you underpaying people? When you know that allegedly, not only is you underpaying people, but you know uh, these brothers in these predicaments because they not getting what's rightfully theirs. So you giving them money, helping them out in their time of trouble, it's no, it's no big, it's no big thing on your behalf for coming through for them when you know that you getting an advantage over them. And even when you're giving these people stuff, it's nothing but part of the down payment on another battle for them. That's what Gabby's saying. And I'm going to have to say I agree with him. I agree with him. I agree with him wholeheartedly. I really believe that why should you get credit for that? And Norbs, why should he? Y'all still haven't showed the paperwork. You're not going to show the paperwork. Nobody have yet to see one of these URL contracts, and that's what I find real crazy. You would figure one that paperwork would have popped up by now from somebody. All these, all these, um, all these people speaking out against them or how unfair they is. You would figure somebody would have anonymously got a hold to one of them contracts or something like that to put it up to show what it says. Even daylight would just on uh. Kato's Kato's media talking about he 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 wished at that time he did that interview he would have bought his URL contract so you can see the things that's in there. We even know that a lot of these brothers didn't even get what was rightfully theirs in the contracts. A lot of failed obligation took place in this, and that's why I be saying like a lot of these 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 leagues can't take nobody to court because of uh. They didn't come through on their end of the bargain on contracts because they guilty of the same thing. They guilty of the same thing, man. I'm just keeping it real. That paperwork don't really mean nothing. It really don't mean nothing because even if you were to break the contract agreement and with them did something else somewhere else, you ain't held liable for that, man. They won't take you to court if they tried to. Even if they wanted to, they couldn't take you to court. They wouldn't take you to court because they don't want them uh, white folks involved in they, that paperwork. You have to show a lot of paperwork. And that's one thing they don't want them involved in. They don't want the government involved. They don't want the people involved. So they're not going to never take nobody to court for uh, breaching any of them contracts. That ain't going to happen. That's why they don't care about breaching it themselves. They just want it as a paper trail of a body count. That's all that is. It's to hold you accountable, not them. So I don't think I don't think he doing I don't look, I don't care what you say, Norbs, when you said that. 
I really don't care what you say when you said that, because at the end of the day, you plan people. You know, you know what's so crazy? You said this. How could he do, how could they do him like that? All the stuff Beasley did for them, all the stuff, how could they do him like that? But you know what's funny? You know y'all so shifty and so dirty. You never once said, how could they do me like that? You handle the whole PGs. You're a part of the thing. You definitely didn't mention yourself. You know why you didn't mention yourself? Because you knew if you opened your mouth and said anything close to that. And I'm pretty sure you didn't look out for somebody financially and stuff like that. But you know you couldn't open your mouth and say that at all about you. Because you knew you was going to be assassinated. They was going to kill you easily. Because you know you have a track record of, of being shifty towards people, fam. So you definitely, you definitely couldn't say that. Imagine you saying... How could y'all do that for me? All the stuff I did for y'all. all the And guess what? It's crazy because you know you can say that to some degree. But even your conscience tell you you better not say that. Because it's known for you, which is them two. If you done it, they did it. Y'all playing them brothers. Y'all playing them brothers. These brothers doing four battles for free for y'all. And y'all exploiting them on pay-per-view for them. Y'all throwing pay-per-view battles for brothers rapping for free and people ordering it on pay-per-view. And you're not even giving them $100. Come on, man. you talking about exploiting. you talking about exploiting. you talking about oppressing. you talking about sweatshop. Then you got the nerve to say, I tell battle rappers, don't quit your day job. Like, right, right. Don't quit your day job because we definitely going to be robbing y'all. So you better keep your job. You better keep your job. So, yeah, that's crazy, fam. Y'all, because you looked out for somebody, helped them out with their bill. How much you, how much you are, how much you indebted to them? How much you owe them? How much you really owe them, honestly speaking? Let's just be honest. And like I tell people, even if people say stuff like, no, they signed up for that. Listen, let me tell you something. It's stipulations and all paperwork, but still as an honest businessman, if you know this person, Jenny, if you know this person signed up for 3000 but he just bought you 200000 and you know he don't know that, and you know he don't know that, you'll figure an honest man would at least... You don't even really got to show him that he made you 200000 You don't even got to show him the paperwork. But you would figure you at least hit his hand just on GP. Just throw him something of a bonus. Knowing that you know when they on the card, the sales go up higher. Come on, man. Come on, man. Again, it goes back to that strike thing. Them brothers bogus. So, yeah, I don't think... I don't think Beasley should be honored or praised to some degree of helping out brothers, paying a rent and stuff like that. When you know, honestly speaking, fam, you owe money. The Bible call it usury. It's called usury. Usury. You're using people. You're using people and extorting people. It's extorting and it's ex uh, ex uh, extortion and you are exploiting these brothers, man. It's usury. That's what it is. It's usury. That's what it is. You're being dishonest financially. Financial dishonesty. That's what you're doing. Period. Ain't no way to get around it. Ain't no way to get around it. It's called usury. That's greed. That's greed. That's just like me. Yeah, I could sign somebody up for, like, I could sign, I, I'm going I'm to keep it real. Say, for instance, I sign a person up to do a show. So I say, hey, you're going to do this show? And he said, yeah, just give me $300. I give him $300. But then the show generate $100,000 that I'm walking away with. The type of guy I am, man, I'm going to hit dude hand with like probably 10 racks. Man, he go an extra 10, fam. He go an extra 10. We made out good last night. He go an extra 10 for you. That's the type of guy I am. Even though you agreed to 300 he go an extra 10 for you. I ain't finna hurt my relationship with you when I see what you're doing. They got that same Suge Knight thing. That's the thing that happened with Suge Knight. You got Pac who went seven times platinum, all eyes on me. Dog Pound went like three, four times platinum. Dr. Dre Chronic went like three, four times platinum. Snoop Dogg went like five times platinum. Why are these brothers asking for money? 
Why these brothers ain't getting what they worth and deserve? That's crazy. I'm going to get them what they, what's rightfully theirs, even though they probably didn't even know. Look, even if I was shifting them out the gate, once I saw that the numbers coming in and what they do, eventually they're going to find out about it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say, hey, bro, there's a lot of things I didn't even know. This contract need to be restructured. It's wrong, fam. Um, I know you signed up for this, but I'm going to give you this much, man. I figured it was fair. When I, when I sat down, when I sat down with my advisors and my management team, when I sat down with my advisors and my management team, when I was crafting my record label and uh, getting everybody together on it, I told him out the gate. I say, I want to be fair to all the artists because I already know I'm going to make out good anyway. I say, I ain't trying to do nothing uh, over them. I want them to get the exact percentages that deserve them. I don't want to get, well, I'm paying for this, so I'm going to cut money out on that. Y'all studio time, I'm going to get my studio time money back. The clothes I bought for y'all, give me my clothes money back. Even though some people can do that, I'm just saying, this is what I did. This is what I did. So I told my management team that I said I want it to be fair for everybody. You get what I'm saying? So he set it up where in the contract, they got everything that was theirs. They publishing, they proceeds, everything that was theirs and theirs. And it was even across the board. You get what I'm saying? We're going to make out anyway. Don't treat people like that. You know what I'm saying? And you wouldn't want nobody to do your kids like that. You wouldn't want nobody to do you like that. So... You know, just fair business is always going to be more successful than trying to get over on people all the time. Because if you're running a business, man, you're going to make out anyway. You're going to make out anyway. So with that being said, regardless to what them brothers signed up for, y'all know the numbers. Y'all see the numbers. If you're seeing like New Jersey twerk only getting paid $1,000 a battle, but you know this man just made you 200000 Come on, man. We ain't for, don't, don't, don't. That's shifty. That's dirty, man. That's dirty. So I don't think you deserve any praise for anything you do for these brothers, man. When you already know, you see the numbers. You know you in debt. Y'all know y'all banking off these brothers. Stop playing, man. Don't make it seem like you looking out for people because you may have helped them out through them a few hundred. Or I sent, I sent them another thousand. I did that. Man, get out of here. Right. You like 500,000 in. On what you owe. So for me, man, I don't know. I agree with Gabby, man. At the end of the day, I agree with Gabby. A lot of money being made through this stuff, man. Come on, let's be honest. These brothers, 18 pay-per-view battles in. 18. You think they ain't banking? Come on, man, please. My only thing, everybody can get paid off this. Take care of your people, man. Take care of your people. You don't do your employees like that. Take care of your people, man. Get them brothers bonuses, man. You, <laughs> They'll never do this. You know what I'll do one day for them? Throw an event and just say, you know what? This for the battle rappers. This this what you should do. You should, you know how y'all throwing 10, 10 events a month? I mean, 10, uh, 10 events a year? One event should just be for the battle rappers, the solid, solidified ones. One event should just be for them, where you say, you know what? This went on y'all. This is y'all bonus. This y'all event. We're going to put it together. We're going to put the money, the upfront money for it back. Just when the other money come in, we're going to take ours off the top, and y'all can split the rest. Y'all can split the rest. We doing 10 events a, a, a year. We're going to do one for y'all. Here's y'all. Make out. That's what you should do every time. That's what you should do every time. But y'all ain't that genuine and honest like that, are y'all? Right. It's battle truth. It ain't my judgment that's a question. It's yours. Shouts out to Gabby from Brooklyn for bringing this case through. This case was passed 12-0. Nobody voted no against this. And the numbers were still coming in. We just stopped at 12 on night court. This was a 12-0 decision unanimously all across the board. Not one person objected to this. Shouts out to Gabby from Brooklyn for bringing this case forth. It got passed. It went through, man. So now we leave it to the people. Do y'all believe Beasley should be praised and honored for helping brothers out with their bills and... um? 
looking out for them like Norb said. How could they do him like this by going on a strike when he didn't help them out with their bills and help them out on bond money, help them out on car notes? Do y'all think that he deserved to be honored for doing that? Or was he entitled to do that for them brothers who in need, who probably wouldn't have been in need if they were getting what was fairly supposed to have been theirs, if they were more honest? So he didn't really do nothing for them, but gave them uh, uh, what was deserving of them was old anyway. So if y'all think he don't deserve to be praised for that, vote guilty. If you think he do, vote not guilty. Then I'm going to take it from there and put in my judgment and sentence this brother or let him off the hook. With that being said, this is Battle Truth. Styrofoams and ashtrays. Hit the link in the description box. If you don't have styrofoams and ashtrays, shame on you. If you watch me, you ain't got styrofoams and ashtrays, shame on you, fam. Shame on y'all, man. I'm going to keep saying that, bro. All the work I put in, man, I'm talking about going live, blogs every day, man, continuing to just find a way to entertain y'all. I'm worth a dollar, man. You can't tell me I'm not worth no dollar, man. Now, come on. I, come on. Let's keep it real. Can't tell me I'm not worth that, man. Don't bootleg me for no little simple dollar, man. Come on. Have some type of gratitude. Have some type of, man, uh morality to the point that you respect the brother trying to do something to honest, but at the same time entertain y'all. You know what I'm saying? Look, this this is for the people, man. Night Court is the people channel, man. Y'all run and control that. I'm trying to find ways to keep y'all involved in things. Whether it's music, y'all always talk about the battle rap is music, trash and all this. Okay. I tried my best to bring you some good music. I know I'm worth a dollar, man. My number is 414-235-6760. 414-235-6760. This is what I want you to do, man. Get styrofoams and ashtrays. Show me you ordered it for $1. Screenshot it. Send it to that number. Or call me. I'm going to put you in a special group. See, I, I'm always trying to do more for what y'all give. I'm taking more out of me to just give more to y'all for even taking the initiative to do it. I'm going to put you in the group. It's going to be a special group we're putting together. Three the hard way going to be in there. Me, Dolo, and Chance, and them roasting sessions and things like that. It's going to be closed off from everybody else. But for those who supported me through this, it's going to be open to y'all, man. And I'm calling everybody personally. And if I ain't got to you, then you call me. But come on, man. Support your boy. It's Battle Troop. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Troop.